hi guys hello and welcome back to my channel it is busayo here again how are you all doing oh my god thank you for 1000 over 1300 subscribers it, it's so surreal for me i'm so surprised and i thank each and every one of you for subscribing and i pray and i pray that god blesses you all thank you for subscribing thank you for watching my videos and also i see all your comments and i'm trying to respond to every comment everyone's comment is so um unique and important i see you all following me on instagram on facebook i see your questions your dms thank you so much for uh, reaching out and i hope i'm able to answer all your questions and also guys i would love you guys to visit www.studyinfo.fi to get first hand information i want you guys to know that everything i say on my channel is based on personal opinion what i have experienced and what my friends have experienced also and it might be different that's why i would love you all to visit the uh, official website of the admission uh, uh studies um also um i would love you all to visit the individual uh, schools website that you've applied to to get first-hand information about um, the school about the um, studies about how the studies are organized and also about many things like um, applying for the study resident permit and also about accommodations also you get first-hand information from those school website yes that being said i've gotten a lot of questions about masters oh i'm not studying nursing i would love to know about masters um how were you able to like finish your masters how long did it take for me to finish my ma masters and and that sort of questions so i'm here to answer those questions so i'm not today i'm not talking about nursing yeah <laughs> because on this channel we talk mostly about nursing um but today i'm talking about uh, my master's study as you all know i came here for my master's at first and i did that for about two and a half years almost three years yes so and now yeah i have my master's degree then i switched to nursing but today is all about masters yes yeah, so the first thing i will talk about is um how did i apply for my master's studies um in my first degree i did um animal breeding i studied animal breeding and genetics yes from the university okay well it is changed the name has changed now from the federal university of agriculture abel kuta Ogun state nigeria <laughs> so if you are an alum line of funav hi hello let me know in the comment section yeah so as i was saying yeah i did my first degree in animal breeding and genetics after which i was like okay so what, what should i do uh, what can i do oh yeah i would love to go into research then uh i think during our final year um uh our lecturers um be, uh, began teaching us about like biotechnology i heard the word biotechnology what is biotechnology so i kind of got interested in biotech even though i know like what i did in my first degree wasn't my <laughs> interest but then i got interested in biotechnology and i decided to um search for schools that are offering that subject for masters so that fascinated me into applying for biotechnology in the university of helsinki yes the famous university of helsinki <laughs> viki campus yes so that that was where my faculty was at the time so the first thing i did was i did my ielts the english test yes i did the english test but now i hear that it's not compulsory especially if you studied in english and if you are from an english speaking country then you don't need to you don't need to write an I, I E L T S. but during my time it was mandatory for me to write an I E L T S. for masters it's quite different because you don't need to do an entrance exam you just need to send your transcripts to the school during my time i don't know now i, I think the requirements are changing uh yeah i don't i'm not sure but now 
uh, I'm not sure if you if you are required to write an entrance exam, but I'm sure the school will send you an information if you if you need to write an entrance exam. But I, I have a friend that um, started a master last year, and she didn't last year or last two years, yes, and she didn't need to write an en entrance exam. Yeah, she didn't write an entrance exam for masters. I don't think you need to write an entrance exam. All you need to do is uh, like apply to the school, send your transcript, and you are not sending your transcript as an individual they are sending it from the school you graduated i mean from the um, university you graduated from so the school will send it to them here and they will review your documents so that is the first thing uh, your certificate your um bsc degree certificate i mean and your transcript that was all i did and also i submitted my ielts results then but now you don't need uh, well it's not compulsory to write and i uh, to write i held yes so after submitting all the necessary documents then the waiting time i waited two months three months nothing no response then i took the step of faith <laughs> i called the school from my nigerian line yes i i think yeah i was I was doing the application during my NYSC. If you are in Nigeria, you will know what NYSC means. So I think after my NYSC, I was so impatient. I was like, oh God, why have I not gotten any response from these people? Then I decided to call them. Then I called them and they said, I have been given admission. Then my uh, airtime finished. I, <laughs> I couldn't talk anymore. Guys, I was panicked. I was like, what, what, wait, what? <laughs> then my airtime finished and so i didn't know that my admission letter has been sent to the mailbox my uh, mailbox i didn't know the admission letter was there already when i got home that day i went straight to the post office then checked the mailbox and i found the admission letter <laughs> Then few a uh, few days later, I got uh, an email from the school inviting me. Okay, so the issue was that I had like a few issue. Then they gave me the admission, but I I, I have um I didn't have my um my degree certificate. Yes, because we haven't done convocation in my school then, and they were giving me um maybe uh two weeks to submit my uh, degree certificate to be sure that I I have graduated so <laughs> then another <laughs> another also began i began to like uh find ways to get my certificate and to the glory of god i got it after so much trouble i got it then i sent to them maybe like two days before the deadline i sent it to them send a mail i sent a mail also to them telling them that oh um it will arrive late because of um the um sending period for um dhl at that time so it will get there like three days later and the deadline was two days in two days so i had to like send the mail to them so this is like me telling you guys if there's any issue at all if you know you have any issue don't be scared to like contact the school mail the admission services and they will respond to you in like if you have any questions at all always speak to the school always send a mail to the admission services every school in finland have an admission services that is ready to like respond to your emails yes uh, the next stage was applying for my um applying for my resident permits yes another <laughs> another phase so after the admission letter has been sent i used that to apply for my resident permit all you need for the resident permit is um to submit the admission as in as a master student even even for bachelor's students people that are applying to bsc here in finland all you need to do is send your um, admission letter send all the documents there is a link in study info that you can check the requirement for the study permits yes and i think that you can start checking it you can start getting familiar with the website you can start uh, gathering your um 
resources so that like when your admission letter is out when you have been given the admission then you can proceed with it like without delay yes so that is what i will advise you guys like start getting your uh documents re ready start getting your uh proof of funds ready so that there will be no delay because <laughs> I, I think I applied for my study permit twice because the first one I was denied. Yes, that is another story which can be found on my page. Yeah, I made a video about it. <laughs> I will I'll put the link in the description box if you want to check the mistake I made. So, <laughs> yeah, I applied twice, but the second one came in after four weeks. Yes, but the, the first one, I think it took... The first one took um, maybe two months before the response because I was uh, getting um, a request for supplementary uh, additional document. It took a lot of time. I think two months, yeah, pretty much. But then the second one, I didn't like. I didn't uh, submit a lot of document. I just went for the interview, and within four weeks, I got my resident permit card. The next st stage is applying for accommodation. Yes, guys. For you not to be stranded when you get to Finland, I would advise that you apply for an accommodation even right from your own country so that, like, you've paid the deposit. And even most times, they don't even collect deposit anymore. They just collect uh, the first month rent. Yeah, that's all. So, or you just accept the accommodation right from your own country so that when you move to finland it will be easy for you to like um there will be a place for you to stay and also yeah accommodation is sorted you apply from your own country then um take a lot of money along like don't say oh <laughs> you are a new student and like it's it's not like you you don't settle down in a new country so fast you at least you need some money to survive before you get a job or before you get um a, a part-time job that you will do alongside with your studies yes so take money along <laughs> yes and also i would advise that you will get familiar with your student tutor every school always have their student tutor make sure you get familiar with them because i didn't get familiar with mine when I came, I had a little bit of issue. Yes. <laughs> yes, I had like so many issues. Because they've done orientation before I came to Finland. And yeah, I didn't know my student tutor. So I was getting to know everything by myself. And it was really, really tough. It was so difficult for me settling down in the school. And also I would advise, if possible, attend the orientation. So that you will uh, know better what course to do, what course to register for in the in your first year, and yeah, everything will go like uh, easy for you. Uh, for me, it was quite difficult because I <laughs> I didn't know my student tutors. I just came here and I started like registering for courses. I I think I even made some mistakes. There there were some courses I I shouldn't have done, and I didn't have anybody to tell me. So that's why I'm saying that it's good to know your student tutor. At least get their contact details so that you can talk to them on phone. So um, I would like to also talk about job opportunities um, and internship for master students. But so that this video will not end up being too long, maybe I should stop there. Then in my next video, I will talk about... I will talk more about that and i hope you guys are preparing for your entrance exam i wish you all success and i pray that <laughs> yeah it will be an amazing and a successful one i'm wishing you all the best of luck and see you in my next video bye